What's up YouTube, what up friends and fam? I had a couple minutes for a video, so I said why the hell not? Let's make a video. Why the hell not? Uh, today I'm just overwhelmed with uh, gratitude and just a sense of calm feeling like everything's going fucking great, man. Um, which I like, Don't not gonna lie, I like it, but also I love the days when shit isn't going to plan or my mind is going one way and I get anxiety about this and that, then I have to overcome it. Um, those days actually mean more to me than a day like today where everything's okay and, you know, like, it's like, it's like almost like that grind is taken away from us, right? When we, um, when we feel like everything's okay, when, we, you know, when everything's okay, make things harder. So today I'm going to make things harder uh, somehow or another, I haven't really figured out how, but I know that's essential for my success. Because if I don't make things harder today, then tomorrow when things are harder, I'm gonna be like, fuck, man, yesterday was such a good day, and I'm gonna want every day to be like yesterday when, fuck that, man. So, I'm gonna make things harder. I got two quotes on the list, I might as well just put four on there now. You know what I mean? Like, the world's literally at my hands, bro, when it comes to this fucking tree removal shit, man. That's how I feel, like, I feel a sense of power, I feel a sense of everything, man. Everything that comes with being a fucking boss, man, I just feel it. Um, like, the world's mine, man, like, I own a tree company, like, I can take down trees for you. Like, it's a huge service to provide everybody. Everybody needs a tree guy, everybody wants a tree friend. A guy that knows how to cut down trees. That's why I come in, and I'm not selling you shit, I'm going after friendship. Like, I'm going after friendship. Every sale, I'm going after a friendship. For example, yesterday I just, I know for a fact I got, yesterday I got two lifelong customers, one, so yesterday I had three quotes. I was three for three. The first lady, she already told me she didn't have money up front and then she'll be able to do the work in like August or something like that. So at first I was like, my mind was like, fuck that. I can't get money today or tomorrow. Like, why would I want to meet up with this lady? But then I thought about it. She was really cool on the phone. So then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go out there, give her a free quote. She wanted advice about what to do with her trees. And now since I, then yesterday I spent an hour with her just talking to her. She was a writer. She was actually really cool. Um, so we were just talking about life and all this, like, mainly wasn't about trees you know what I mean like I mainly find that these customers want a friend to talk to so if you can win over a customer's friendship you'll win over their business for life man like you really will like I even I always use the example behind my mechanic my mechanic is a good guy I can talk to him he's cool you can joke around with them um, so when something happens with my truck I take it to him and I trust him man because he's my friend you know what I mean like I don't know if it'd fuck me over. I don't know if he's even charging me the right price. You know what I mean? I haven't even I haven't even price checked him for anything he's done. So that's how I know winning a friendship is the most important thing because I know I've been the multi mechanics back in Massachusetts since I've been back here. And I've just had shit luck. Like I went to Asian's garage and like they gave me a fucking attitude every time I was there. And one time I dropped off my truck and it was a fifteen hundred dollars fix. And then they tried to upcharge me $100 right when I was getting to the checkout. I was like, no, you're not going to do that. Uh, because I, like I gave them an example, I own a business. I would never upcharge right at the last second. You know what I mean? I didn't sign no paperwork saying that you could upcharge me. You told me that you do the work for $1,400 or $1,500 and never try to charge me like 16 or 17. I'm like, man, that's bullshit. I call them right on their shit. So my point being said, man, like, as long as you win over a customer's respect and loyalty as a friend, you'll have a lifelong customer. Like, it just just works out that way. The next quote I go on. This guy said he's gotten multiple quotes from multiple people. It sounded like he didn't like any of the guys that gave him quotes. So, he went with me because I know he went with me because I made a friend with him. Like, he can trust me. I tell him the truth. Like... You really got to make yourself vulnerable with people and tell them the truth about stuff that nobody else will tell them the truth about. Not that nobody else will, but like, 
there's only a couple real people out here, man. I'm trying to tell you, there's only a couple real people out here. If you're watching this channel, you're probably one of them. It doesn't necessarily mean you are, but someone that speaks their mind, speaks how they feel, doesn't hold back. You know what I mean? I, I have no reason to hold back to tell the customer the truth. No reason. You know what I mean? I'm not going to talk shit about other people. I'm just going to state facts of what I know about the tree industry and how you get what you pay for. You know what I mean? So I went over everything with him, won a friendship, asked him what he does for work. He's actually a videographer. So I was telling him about my YouTube channel and we might be doing a little exchange for work type shit. Um, getting some professional photos done, maybe a video done. Um, you know, that's what it's all about. Then the third customer, I didn't really make a friend with them, but you know, I still was cool, calm, and collect and honest with them. Got the, got the customer yesterday too. Um, and like, for you, those of y'all who know, like, I only have a pickup truck. I do not take away the brush. I do not even rent a. I don't. I don't get into taking away the brush. Like, I simply just don't. Um, a couple jobs coming up, I did offer to rent a chipper and they, you know, that's going to be on them and they will pay for the labor. They will pay for this and that, but I don't get into, I haven't at least, uh, getting into like, there was a kind of been a couple jobs where I had to pay another company to come get the wood. It's just so fucking expensive, man. Unless you have your own setup, your own chipper, all that, man. It, but like you see these guys with the chipper and a dump, um, dump truck. Those guys are balling, man. Like they certainly are balling. Like I'm gonna give them a lot of fucking credit. Salute y'all to any of y'all who had to pay straight cash or even credit checked it or whatever. Uh, anybody that had to come out of pocket for that shit and work their ass off for it, I know that you guys are balling, man. Like that's that's some gangster ass shit. If you can make it from the bottom, you know and not have a trust fund to work off of or something like that. It's fucking balling, dude. Um, Cause I know it's probably take me a couple of years to get that, um, you know, if everything goes right. I'm, I'm right now I'm currently saving up for a Toyota Tundra with the plow. Uh, I'm sick of Dodge, man. I'm just sick of Dodge. I know Toyotas, they last fucking forever. I had a 1999 Toyota Corolla for like five years and that thing had like 250,000 miles on it and there was like never anything wrong with it. Then I get this car this year, Dodge. Um, granted it wasn't a Florida car, I'm not in Florida, Massachusetts, there's rust everywhere. I've already had the muffler fall off this thing. It's a pretty nice truck too, like it runs nice, It's everything's good inside but underneath it is a little bit more rusting than I noticed. So, got that done, got two fucking, some sort of shit in the rim, I think ball bearing joints or some shit, got two of those, that was an extra thousand bucks, the muffler was about a thousand bucks, you're looking at like two grand I've already put into the truck. So I've totaled, like I bought this truck for 6,200, put an extra two into it, plus another one for the tax, so that's like 10 grand almost just for this truck. And now I can get a brand new Toyota Tundra or uh, 2019 with 20,000 miles on it with the plow set up. I've already looked at this one. I doubt they still have it where I looked at it. They might though. So I'm going to go look at that. The last time I think I checked into it was like 41, which is a fucking steal the more I think about it. Because you don't even know how fucking bad I want to put subwoofers back here. How bad I want to put some nice rims. How bad I want to put like a fucking lift kit or some shit. Get some nice tires. Like I want to put so much money into my truck. I just don't want to because I know this truck is going to break down. Or I don't want this truck. You know what I mean? So if anybody wants this truck or you want to buy it off me, fucking hit me up. Uh, I bought it for $6,200. i would be willing to sell it for that again. I've already put two grand into it. Um, so yeah, hit me up. But uh... I might keep it, might not. I'd rather get another, I'd rather get the Toyota Tundra plus the Toyota Tacoma or something like that. I would just want a fleet of Toyotas, really. Um, and then when it comes down to get a dump truck, it's gonna, you know, it might take a couple years to get a dump truck, which I'm willing to accept. I was thinking, you know, I need the dump truck, but really I need the yard first. I need the yard first, you know. Everything takes time, everything... It, it just all takes time, man. You can't just put all your eggs in one basket. That's for damn sure. 
Um, but yeah, man, I just want to make this video. I appreciate you guys fucking liking, commenting, sharing. Um, I I did put another order in for t-shirts and long sleeves. Pretty much just for the company. Like, if somebody wants a medium, I have a couple more mediums coming in that I'll be able to dish off to somebody. Uh, I got like 16 mediums coming in. I got a couple hoodies coming in. Um... As long as this goes good, because I went with a different company, because this guy, he stopped returning my phone calls, man. So I think, I don't know, I hope he's all right. Because he seemed pretty cool to me, and I thought I was a lifelong customer for him, but I guess not. Uh, but anyway, so the the t-shirt the company I went with, I think they have some sort of package deal for t-shirts. So I think I'm going to print out a shit ton of those, sell them on my YouTube channel, give them away to customers... Uh, I do like the idea of every deal I give or every like consistent customer, I'll just hand them a t-shirt and ask them to wear it around as much as possible. Because that's just like free conversation, man. You know what I mean? I, I sell them the job. I sell them a friendship. I sell them the t-shirt. You know what I mean? And then they're happy as fuck to wear that t-shirt around and tell people about me. That's how I feel. Um, that's all the time I got for it today. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. It's a beautiful day here in Massachusetts. And it's a beautiful day to go get this money. Let's go.